Hi friends, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I am doing a book review on When I'm Gone by Emily Bleeker. And you can see right here where I got it, my favorite used bookstore, Gardner's, here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I live in a town pretty close to that. I'm giving this book four and a half stars. Yep, it was good. Um, so the only reason I'm not giving it five is because... I think the ending was tied up a little too, what do you call it? It was tied up too neatly in a bow. <laughs> That's how I want to put it. I don't know. But anyhow, this was really good, and I want to show you something. You can see here's the cover, but look what I discovered. The book itself is the same thing. I mean, how often do you see a book that, when you take off the jacket, has the same picture but without the title on the front? So cool. Because I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when you're reading, the jacket's kind of getting in the way. So I just take it off and set it to the side. Um, and I don't lose it. I put it back on. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I was doing with this one. I found it a little easier to read. So let me tell you the synopsis and then we're going to talk about it. it. says, even the happiest marriages have their secrets. Dear Luke, first let me say, I love you. I didn't want to leave you. Luke Richardson has returned home after burying Natalie, his beloved wife of 16 years, ready to face the hard job of raising their three children alone. But there's something he's not prepared for. A blue envelope with his name scrawled across the front in Natalie's handwriting, waiting for him on the floor of their suburban Michigan home. So they have one of those mail slots in the front door. And when he gets home, there's a blue letter there, and it's from Natalie. So the letter inside, written on the first day of Natalie's cancer treatment a year ago, turns out to be the first of many. Luke is convinced they're genuine, but who is delivering them? As his obsession with the letters grow, Luke uncovers long-buried secrets that make him question everything he knew about his wife and their family. But the revelations also point the way toward a future where love goes on. In written words, in memories, and in the promises, it's never too late to keep. Yeah, it was good. It was so good. So, <laughs> we, we are following um, Luke. He is our main character. Like I said, um, his wife, Natalie, of 16 years, dies of cancer. And what has, what's happened is um, sh he starts getting letters from her. Now, he doesn't know who's dropping them off. Now, I know this sounds very reminiscent of P.S. I Love You uh, by Cecilia Ahern, which is... My one of my favorite authors, that's my all time favorite movie. But the book mm, I didn't really like because it was wrote in letter form like she's writing letters to him, and then like he's you know, da 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 da. So, but this one is not like that. This one does have the letters that she has wrote to him on her deathbed, and now she has someone delivering them after her death. It does have that. But it also has um, the story of Luke as he struggles to um, raise their three children without his wife. And then he has the mother-in-law that butts in, you know. And then it also has the story of Annie, who is Natalie's best friend. And she has made Natalie promise to keep an eye on her children and her husband. And help out it any way she can. So you have that. And then Annie is married to a policeman. And he's kind of in the background. And then you have Jessie. Now Jessie is a girl who uh, Natalie met at... Um, she Natalie was a teacher, but she was going back to college to get like to further her education. And she met this girl named Jessie, and, who was um, 16, I think. Um, 
there and um, she has clicked with this Jesse and she um, basically writes in one of her letters that she wants Luke to hire Jesse as a um, babysitter slash caretaker slash housekeeper after she's gone. Um, because she, she has really clicked with her and she wants her in her children's life. So you've got her story. <clears throat> now, the one thing I really liked about this book <clears throat> was that Emily Bleeker, the way she writes a story, um, it just grabs me. And I like how, um, it, it had a bunch of stories going on within this one book. But they all start melding together, and they all, um, they all, like, the characters really, like, I really resonated with Luke, even though he was a man, and normally, I wouldn't read a book that was from a man's point of view, um, but it was wrote in the way that, like I said, described me. And, you know, if you read a book, and you still think about the characters, after you've stopped reading it and you're wondering how their life went on and such, that's a good book. <laughs> Four and a half stars. Like I said, it would have been five, but the ending, I figured out. There was a um, secret that I, I figured it out. So if I hadn't figured it out, I would have gave it a five star, but that's okay. I still enjoyed it. I still would highly recommend it. If you have not read anything by Emily Bleeker, I would highly recommend picking up her books. Um, I've read um, a couple of other of her books, and I have another one doo -doo -doo -doo, somewhere on my shelf that I will be getting to. I don't know when, but yeah. Really enjoyed this book. It was so good. Four and a half stars. And that's all I have for today. Do you want to see my t-shirt? I know you do. It's not life is good, but... It is Oklahoma, and it says local on it, and it's got, it's this gray, heathered look going on. Love it! And I got it at the thrift store. <laughs> got it at the thrift store for $3. That makes it even better. It's, and it kind of feels like one of those um, athletic t-shirts. It's kind of thicker, and it's got that um, real soft kind of, not really bumpy, but it's got a little bit of texture to it. I love it. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I know. I'm so silly. Anyway, that's all I have for today. If you like this video, give me a like. And hey, while you're at it, give me a subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram. Live, laugh, the number two, read, um, on Instagram. And also, Goodreads. Um, under my name, Jennifer Nichols, uh, I am on Goodreads, and um, Facebook. Now, my Facebook is my little free library um, page, so it's Claremore Little Free Library on Facebook. All right, that's all I got. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.